Gilich, Gilgit McCree and Shaw, Augusta New Bemajig Kanch, Fuin Amsher Lifra, Ask Gilga. Before starting this video, I just want to mention a good channel for learning Irish. It's literally called just Learn Irish. Dane has loads of great videos with slow and clear pronunciations of Irish. And you can also learn about Irish folklore with him as well if you're interested in that. So definitely check him out after this video. Today we will be talking about the present tense in Irish. So I recently did a video on the past tense and irregular verbs in the past tense. Now in my opinion, as I said before, past tense is the easiest tense. And it is much easier than the present tense which we are about to look at now. But what I will say is when you break it down, the present tense is actually not that bad. So the present tense in Irish is divided into two branches. And Heid Reimnu, the first branch, is all verbs that have just one syllable. Shulla a wine. Dara Reimnu, second branch, is made up of most verbs that have two syllables. Ya Shulla. There are two sets of endings for verbs in the Ked Remnu. And the ending you use depends on the last vowel in the verb. There are the broad vowels, which we refer to as Lahan, which means broad or wide in Irish. And they are A, O and U. You make a wider mouth when you say these verbs. And then we have Kale, which is narrow vowels. So I and E. So the ending you use for the verb is going to depend on whether the last vowel is a kale vowel or a lahin vowel. I'm going to take one verb, for example, for kale. The verb I'm going to use is keen, which means to cry. So the last vowel in that verb is I, which is a kale vowel, a slender vowel. The endings that you use for any verb where the last vowel is I or E goes as follows. I cry, keen M. You cry, keenan tu. He, she, or it cries, keenan she, she, na she, for it. We cry, keenamidge. You all cry, like you plural, is keenan shiv. And they cry, keenan shade. At school, my teacher told us that we could, if it was too difficult for us to learn three different endings, we could just learn keenin, like the E-A-N-N, -N, and then apply whatever pronoun we needed. Keenin may, keenin to, keenin mudge. So that is longer to write and longer to say, but a lot easier to remember. So if you can remember just that one ending, and then if you know your pronouns, that is much easier uh, for starting off. Now for verbs where the last vowel is A, O or U, the endings are as follow. I'm going to use one example of a verb, can, to sing. So if you want to just learn one ending, it's canon and then your foranium, which means pronoun. For the other endings though, to say I sing, it's canum and we sing, canamudge. So A-I-M, A-N-N, and A-I-M-I-D are the endings for Latin verbs. Now, if the verb starts with a vowel, and that is the only vowel, for example, all, to drink, you just treat it as if it's the last vowel in it, because it's the only vowel, and apply the appropriate ending. Now, I'm moving on to the second branch in the present tense. Andara Reimnu. These are verbs that have two syllables. Ya Hyola. The second syllable is A I G H or I G H. You just remove the second syllable. Second syllable is I G H, then the verb takes up the kale endings. For example, eerie. You remove the I G H and you add the ending. The kale endings for two syllable verbs are as follows. Eerieim. Irian tu, Irian she, she, Irian midge, Irian shiv, and Irian shade. For verbs where the second syllable is a i g h, you remove the a i g h and add the Latin endings. I'm going to use the verb rauni, which means to choose. Rauniem, rauniantu, 
Roni and Shay, she. Roni and Mitch, Roni and Shiv, Roni and Shade. So the only real difference there between the Kale endings and the Lahan endings is with the Lahan endings, you just add on an A to the Kale ones. So that's an easy way to remember it. Now that concludes the first part of the video about present tense. The second part is going to be about exceptions to the rules. And I'm not talking about the irregular verbs. If the first part of this video has been enough for you, I completely understand. It's a lot to take in. And when you're ready, watch the second part. If you still feel good to go, be my guest, watch the second part. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to know more verbs, please follow my Instagram. I've been posting verbs on there recently. I'll have it on the screen and linked in the description. So, part two. There are four exceptions to the rules of the present tense in Irish. The first exception is that there are nine verbs that end in I-G-H, but they're only one syllable. These nine verbs are as follows. See? which means to sit, cry, which means to torment, knee, which means to wash, lay, to read, gee, to pray, louis, to mention, glee, to call, play, to discuss, and buoy, to win. So in the case of these nine verbs, you remove the I-G-H and add the appropriate ending for the Cadream new one-syllable verbs depending on the last vowel in them. Let me give you an example, because that sounds a lot more complicated than it is. I'm gonna choose play. With play, I'm gonna remove the I-G-H, and the last vowel then is the E. So the endings would go like this. Play in, play in, play image. Because the last vowel then is right there, I don't need to have E-A-N-N. -N. It's just A-N-N-N, -N -N because it then it would be P-L-E father, E-I-N-N. If you have to repeat a vowel because it's in its last vowel of one of those nine verbs and it's in the ending as well, then just drop it. The second exception to the rule is that there are some verbs which are two syllables, but they are treated like they are one syllable. So they take up the Cade Remnu first branch endings. Sowel, which means to save. Chaspine, which means to show. Knithile, or critile, which means to knit. In Donegal, sometimes if there's C-N, we'll pronounce it like C-or. It's just kind of a dialect thing. Usage, chumine, to drive. So taking chaspine, for example, chaspine, the last vowel in it is an I, which is a kale vowel. So I'm going to apply the kale endings for the one syllable verbs. Chaspine M. Chaspine and two, Chaspine and she, she, Chaspine and Mitch, Chaspine and Shiv, Chaspine and Shade. So we are two exceptions to the rule done, and two more to go, halfway. If you're watching the video from the start, pat yourself on the back because this, you know, you're doing good. You're doing good to still be here and not have wanted to just X out of it. I don't know if I would stay at this point. Just know that I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm really proud of you. What well the, girl? Boy. Whatever. So for the third exception to the rule, we have some two-syllable verbs that don't end in A-I-G-H or I-G-H. We remove the vowels in the second syllable. Coddle, to sleep. Umper, to carry. Kangle, to tie. Foger, to announce. Tachin, to enjoy. Muskal, to evoke. Oskal, to open. Emmer, to play. Inish, to tell, bagger, to threaten, etchel, to fly, fragger, to answer, and lore, to speak. I'm going to take two verbs from this list and show you how you put them into the present tense. First verb I'm going to take is coddle, to sleep. The second syllable is A-I-L. So we have to remove those vowels. I'm going to take out the A and I and just Turn the verb into C-O-D-L. Coddle. 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 And then add the appropriate ending. It's a Latin verb because the last and only vowel in it is an O. Coddlian. Coddlian too. Coddlian she. She. Coddlian image. 
Codlian shade, Codlian shiv. Another example, etchel. The second syllable is il. Just one vowel to remove the i, so it becomes etchel. But you're gonna add the ending to it, and it'll sound a lot better than etchel. That just actually sounds like gibberish. Now the last vowel in it is an i, so it's going to get the kale endings. Etchlian, etchlian shade, etchlian midge. And now we have the last. Exception to the rule, the fourth, the final, and it's easy. It's really easy. It's not a big list of verbs that have an exception where you take out vowels and you add this and you don't do that. No. One verb, folum, does not change. You don't drop anything. It's two syllables, but it stays the same. The last vowel in it is an I, which is a kale vowel. You're going to add the kale two syllable endings. So folamian, folamiantu, folamiamudge. That is like a tongue twister. I'm serious. Try and say that out loud. Folamian, 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 folamiamudge. Oh, that is it. That is all exceptions to the rule. That is the rules for the present tense. You have made it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has helped you with the present tense. You are not going to get it straight away. I didn't get it straight away. I still struggle with it. I do. It is a difficult part of Irish, but this video is here. I made this for you, for myself. I really hope that you will be able to use the present tense whenever you're ready and that this video helped you to understand it a bit better. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on another video. I'm going to be doing a video about the irregular verbs and how they change in the present tense. So you don't want to miss that. Thank you so much for watching. Goro Maigat, August Lanlats.